Hi, I'm Mark Peterson from Trimex Solutions. Today, I want to show you how to add configuration specific properties to a part very quickly by using design tables. In a previous video, Ryan showed us how we can add custom properties very quickly to multiple files using the task scheduler. In this video, I want to show how we can add configuration specific properties to all of the configurations within a single part. You'll notice here with my part, I have multiple configurations here, but the configuration specific properties are very minimal. If I wanted to add a configuration specific property, for example, for weight, I would choose it from the drop down here, and then I would select mass from this area. Notice it does give me uh, the evaluated value here, but that doesn't propagate to the other configurations automatically. To do this, I'm going to open my already created design table. If I didn't have a design table already created, I could simply insert one by going to insert tables and design table and just choosing the default values and hitting the green check would be fine. In this case, I'm going to open my design table. And it's going to check to see if there's been any other properties or any anything else been configured in my part and show me what those are. In this case, I did just add that weight property to one of my configurations, so it shows me in the list. I'll select it and hit OK. If it didn't have it in the list or I didn't have my design table set up to do that, uh, you could simply type it in here manually. As long as you're using this, this nomenclature dollar sign PRP at and then the property name would be fine. As I hover over this box here and click on it, we can see what the value is that's hidden behind that number. It's sw mass at at default at test part dot SLD PRT. So the way that this property is configured is it's saying this is the mass property, the SOLIDWORKS mass property at this configuration name default at test part. All I need to do to set this up in my design table is just to simply make sure that I copy this particular information down exactly, uh, replacing default with the configuration name. Fortunately, because this is Excel, it does make it easy for me to do this, uh, and I can also use in the first column, uh, all of my configuration names are there for me. So in order to create this, I'm going to use uh, an Excel function called concatenate, and from here I'm going to simply type the information that I need, sw-mass at at, and then close my quotation marks, I'm going to use a comma to separate my terms and select the configuration name from the first column. And then at test part dot SLD PRT and close the parentheses and we're set. Uh, however, to be fully compatible with SOLIDWORKS properties, I do need quotation marks on the beginning and end of this term. In order to do that, I'll just simply go up to my formula bar and add two more quotes to the beginning and end. Now, now we look good, we can just drag this through all of our uh, rows and you can see that the configuration name is being pulled from this first column. Okay, simply close my design table and now when I go to my properties, configuration specific tab, we can see that weight has been added to not only default, but test one, test two, and so forth. And this can be replicated for any property uh, in this window. However, with the evaluated properties, we do need to actually activate each configuration uh, in order for the math to be generated. So if I double click for test one and go back to my properties, you'll see that test one has now been evaluated. 